Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you an overview of Mocky ROM which is based on 4.4.4 on the Redmi Note 4G. This ROM is pretty much stable and almost everything is working. You won't find any bugs or anything like that. So that's a really great thing. So let's get started. First of all, this ROM is based on 4.4.4 as some of the lollipop ROMs which are released for the Redmi Note 4G are not completely stable yet. So this is very great option if you don't like MIUI or uh, want to have something different. So first thing first, as this is the Mocky ROM, you will have tons of features included in the ROM. So let's get started with that. The right side of your status bar is working as your power button. Like if you long press over here, you will get to the power menu which you get on long pressing the power button. Or if you just single tap here, then the screen will turn off. And the lock screen from the Cyanogen mod is also here like if you just Swipe up then you will get to the music player, swipe here to get into messaging and swipe here to unlock and you can customize these options too. For that simply go into settings, go into lock screen then if you go in slider shortcuts you can customize these options too. Like if you just press over here, if you just select this then you can change this to something else. So that's a really nice thing. Now I'll brief you about all the options present in the Mocky ROM. Uh, the wireless and networks are pretty basic so I won't go into that. By selecting home you can select your default launcher if you have installed any custom launcher or if you like custom launchers then by, just by selecting from here you can select the launcher you want and the lock screen from where you can change all the things like if you want screen lock to be based on slide face unlock pattern pin password gesture all these options are because of Mocky ROM you won't find all these options in the Cyanogen mod and one of the things which is missing in the lollipop that custom widgets on the lock screen are present over here so no worries about that then if you go into themes then you can select themes and all the themes packages are available on the play store so you can download it from there and you can change from icons, fonts, wallpaper, lock screen wallpapers, boot animation, sound packs you can change everything as you can see over here uh, so that's a really great thing and one of my favorite feature is the dynamic system bars uh, if I select this and now if I go into play store then as you can see the status bar color will change according to the app like the black it's black only so let's so as you can see the status bar changed to white color so that's a really nice thing and uh, multitasking is really smooth there are no issues whatsoever and if we go into status bar if you if you like clock to be in the center then you can select this and the clock will be in the center as you can see over here so that's a really nice thing there are tons of options in the mocky rom and you can select network speed uh, I love this outgoing and network and if you want custom carrier label like if you want your name I'll write my name then your name will be in the status bar so that's a really great thing you can enable active display like whenever new notification will come you will get the notifications like you get on the Moto X so that's a good thing but for that you need to turn off the lock screen animations after that if you go into active display then you can enable this and I personally prefer lock screen notifications and you can select the LCD density like if you want uh, your icons to be smaller and your screen should look bigger then you can select a different then you can select a different LCD density and you can set that but for that you need to reboot your phone so I am not showing you right now and there are tons of options if I go into every option then it will be a very very long video so you can check out that let me tell you that the battery life on the ROM was good as you can see I have been using this for 3 hours and uh, 31 minutes the screen on time is uh, I guess 40 minutes yeah 40 minutes and I was heavily using it the battery was around 55% and the battery is now yeah 46% so as you can see the battery life is also good so there are no issues with that but I'll give you some of the tips for the battery life such as if you go into performance then go into processor and then don't forget to select the minimum frequency as 300 megahertz if the minimum CPU frequency is not stable at 300 megahertz then don't worry install any third party app like no frill CPU control select 300 megahertz at the minimum clock frequency and select apply on boot because of this it will be applied every time on the boot and if you get any toy for battery drain then simply decrease the maximum clock frequency to 1.344 gigahertz for that matter and apply that and now it will ask us for the root permissions select remember choice forever and allow now the minimum clock frequency will be set to 300 megahertz and uh, you will get more through the battery life and you as you can see some of the Chinese apps are present over here if you don't feel safe after having the Chinese apps simply go into privacy and then go into privacy guard 
and then select these uh, applications so that none of the information of your device will be given to those application uh, this is really nice feature and if you want to uninstall the applications then you can simply do that too like if i don't want this application then uninstall this application and if you go into settings i forgot to show you the as you can see the swipe effect uh, like this is present and it's really nice you can change that by going to display and then go into animation you can select there are multiple options so this rom is uh, pretty good if you don't like miui and want to have any aosp based uh, experience rom then you can surely go for this so this is it for this video guys thank you for watching and if you want to install this rom then i have already made a separate video on how to install any custom rom on the redmi note 4g i'll give the link of that video in the description below so don't forget to check that out and all the download links will be in the description so you can download that and follow the method over there so thank you guys thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so thank you guys